guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are working inside the kids' room to get those kiddos moved out of the trailer and into the tiny house. Indeed, Melissa, indeed. So today we are working on a carpet installation here in their bedroom. It is a 16 foot by nine foot bedroom, which means we don't have to deal with any kind of seams, uh, anything like that. However, we are installing this over a concrete slab, which does present some challenges. I actually used to work for a carpet company a long, 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 long time long ago. Long time ago, back when Jeremy was muy guapo. Muy, muy guapo. So we'll see what I remember. Hopefully this project goes well. We'd like to get the kids tucked away in this bedroom as soon as possible. Yes, and if Jeremy doesn't remember his mad skills and we mess this up, I'm going to spank him with this ancient uh, torture stripping here. It's a tax strip. It's not nice, Melissa. It's not nice. We are going around and we are setting our tack stripping to the concrete slab. Before that, we are using this extra wide tack strip that is made specifically for concrete slab. Basically, you just pound these nails into the slab and it pretty much uh, gets set in place that way. With the extra wide strip, we are actually hoping to utilize the little additional tongue portion here toward the edge of the strip to staple down our pad. So once everything's installed, we can get that done. With getting our tax stripping stuck into place, we're trying to get things approximately a half inch away from the bottom of the wall. That way we'll have a little bit of a gap to actually stuff the edge portion of our carpet underneath the baseboard. We also want to make sure that we're protecting our baseboard as we go, so we're just not utilizing this scrap piece of OSB to prevent me from accidentally crushing the wall or the baseboard. Okay, with all of our tacks stripping down, it's time to move on to our carpet pad. We are using a 7 16 inch carpet pad that will be laid within the tack stripping itself and we're actually going to secure it to the tack stripping using a stapler. Melissa's favorite tool in the arsenal. Yes, I, I, I believe you have my stapler. It's a big red stapler. It's a swing line and I was told that I could uh, keep my stapler. You're not an Office Space fan? Yeah, for everybody staring at their screen right now, wondering what it is that Melissa's doing, that is a reference from it's Office Space, which is a great movie. Go check it out. Anyway, let's get to work. There's big grains of salt, salt in the guacamole. Yeah. So we just noticed since we opened our carpet pad that it has a spill safe layer on it, which is fantastic for our very spilly children.
So I tried to get Melissa to use a carpet blade of some kind, but she instead was insistent upon using these fabric scissors, like a seamstress. These fabric scissors are for fabric only. If you cut paper, I'll cut you. Only not with these scissors. So much violence. <laughs> You've got some pent up anger in you, girl. Okay, so I don't like the exacto knife because with all this little smushed together stuff, it was just making a mess. It was going all over the place. The really sharp scissors are cutting through it like butter. Yeah, they're actually doing a really good job. They I'm are, surprised. and I can be more precise. I just got done trimming down our piece of carpet that's going here in the bedroom. We took this out into the main living space. We're not going to have any seams anywhere in this bedroom, which makes things kind of nice for the sake of installation. We have a 9 foot by 16 foot bedroom and our piece of carpet was actually 12 by 16. So we went ahead and made a couple of length, a couple of cuts, one lengthwise, one widthwise. Those are going to be our working edges. We'll get those set into place and secured. And then with the remaining excess, we will go around and make some trim cuts. And we don't have a, a stretcher, so I'm gonna try to make this work with just a knee kicker. I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna bump this carpet, um, get it set in place, and try to get it as stretched out as I possibly can by myself, along with the assistance of my lovely uh, partner, Melissa. many reasons why we're super excited to get in this space is the hornets. The hornets are awful and they attack us and they sting us relentlessly and I've caught thousands of them. I've discovered that they really like teriyaki sauce so I've been trapping them that way but uh, somebody came around it was probably Bob or Ben the hornet or somebody uh, to avenge the thousands of family members that I have captured and stung me right in the side boob. <laughs> in the armpit. On a bright note, maybe it'll swell. Look at this. This hornet landed. Got me three times. I won't show you the third one. <laughs> but those are two and they're swelling and I put this bee sting stop stuff and it's not really helping. It looks like a vampire bit me. You look great, mommy, you look great. Thank you.
All right, Mama, just like that, there it is. We have carpet in our first Yay! bedroom, which is our first completed, completed room, room. <laughs> in the living space. So what do you think? I'm almost as excited as I would be if it was a master bedroom, but having the kids in their own room is almost just as good. So yeah, we have some furniture moving to do and the kids will have their room. Yeah, we'll get them in here. They'll have some privacy. We'll have some privacy. Yes. So, yeah, super exciting stuff. It went pretty smoothly for having not done this in 15 or so years. Yeah. The carpet is in. Looks good. I kind of wish I had a stretcher, but I did the best I could with just my, my little knee kicker thing, you which I never awesome. stretched out. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it looks good. So, yeah, very happy with how things went, and it looks great. And it is our first completed room, which is a huge, huge celebratory stone. moment yes. for us. Yes. So, yeah, so you ready to get some stuff moved in? I am. Yep. Let's do it. pull-out tundral so it gives us three mattresses the little boys are still small enough that they can share the bottom one Nevaeh's gonna have her own and then little Kira will be on the bottom so I am going to work on getting these put together the next morning when I What are you most excited about? Your bed? What about you, Kira? <laughs> I said, that's all. What? How did you even make that noise? <laughs> are you gonna be able to cram your million clothes into one dresser? Yes, I'll make it. <laughs> what are you most excited about, Kaimani? Today I'm the trailer. <laughs> thing about getting the kids in their own bedroom is this table right here so in order to get the kids to fit into our our space here we only have these tiny little bunks so Nevea was in the bottom and then Kaimani was up at the top because they were the biggest so our little kids actually shared this little fold down dinette bed but we had to have it set up all the time and so we had no table for four months and the kids were literally sprawled out on the floor eating. So this is our first meal with a table and it is a beautiful, beautiful thing. What you got on your face there, Nevea? And Kira? Beauty. Are you tightening your wrinkles? <laughs> no, it's really tight. Y your wrinkles? <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> you guys look great. <laughs> Try to avoid those crinkles. Thank you. All right, you guys excited for your first night? Yep. Yeah. Even. <laughs> the 
Yes. Okay. You guys behave in here. Yes. Good night. We'll see Good you night. in the morning. Bye. 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 Bye.